the new legal changes, new legal changes in Germany. So what applies to you as a foreigner, what applies to you as an expert, what you should know, what you should look out for so you don't get shocked when you go out. Hi everyone, welcome to The Phoebe Way. If this is your first time, my name is Phoebe and on this channel, The Phoebe Way, we talk about life in Germany, how to navigate in and around Germany, the German bureaucracy, and you know, just discussing topics that are essential and relevant for experts and foreigners who are trying to settle easily and smoothly in Germany. And also because I love traveling, I'm also going to be giving you travel vlogs as well. So if this is what you're interested in seeing and and if this is also what you're interested in learning, do not go anywhere, subscribe to this channel, activate the notification button so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first to know. And of course, and enjoy as well. Yes, I promised you guys that I'm going to give you all the tips, every tip that you need to know about life in Germany, how to make your life in Germany easier. And one of my biggest tips started from 2021, I'm continuing 2022, is luggage pool. Luggage pool is the solution to all your logistics problems. One, they are making it easier for you to move homes, to move houses from city A to city B, so you can have the van, you can book a van, you can book helpers. If you're trying to change your furniture, if you're trying to buy new furniture, you don't have anybody to help you with it, luggage pool is giving you a cheaper option, so you book there and then you get to transfer your um, new furniture from Ikea, Mumax, Walla, XXX Lutz, all of these big furniture shops to your home. And also if you need a handyman, they're also there for you. So luggage pool is made for experts by Indian experts. Yes, experts made this, started these services and I'm so proud to share it with you guys. And in the year 2022, they've come with the app so you can actually get your help on the go. So download the app, sign up using this link. With this link, you save five euros off your first transaction. So it's going to be somewhere right here. Sign, sign, sign up so that you can get the help that you need. And also you can save off your first transaction. So without further ado, let us get right into today's video. Today we are going to discuss the new legal changes new legal changes in Germany. So what applies to you as a foreigner? What applies to you as an expert? What you should know, what you should look out for so you don't get shocked when you go out so you don't know what is going on. These are the topics we are going to discuss today. So let's start. Number one is a law that was passed or an act that was passed in December 2021. Telecommunications Modernisierungsgesetz or Telecommunication Modernization Act. So this comes with a lot of advantages for us consumers or customers um, in connection to our network providers. One of the main things is how our fixed term contracts are going to be handled. Okay, so usually in Germany when you start a contract or when you close a contract with a telecommunication network provider, it is usually for 24 months, okay? And then if you do not terminate the contract on time, so before the second, the 24th month, by if, let's say if the contract should end in May, by the end of March, you should have sent them a notice, a termination notice and say, I do not want to continue with this contract. But if you do um, do that, then that's fine. If you do not do that, the contract gets extended automatically by another 12 months. Now, this is no more the case. If you do not cancel your contract on time, it only gets extended by one month, by one month. And now the deadline for prior notice or prior termination is no more three months, but also just one month. So this has made it easier for us to terminate our contracts. It's part of the advantages. If I want to dwell on this topic, it's going to make this video very, very long. But just for you to watch out and know that these are things that you should look into if you plan to have a new contract, if you plan to get a new phone contract or anything, this is what you should look out for. So the, so for, for example now, it's if your contract should end in March, this is time for you to get active. So before February, you should start looking into um, comparing and getting it terminated on time. And also, you probably already have got an email or a letter from your network provider. They are supposed to inform us of any changes or any important um, 
things that are in connection with our contract. So my network provider, for example, last year just gave, told me that, hey, you're currently having the best price um, and the best conditions based on what you want to have. So that's the best price, you have the best contracts for your lifestyle. And other um, network providers are going to do similar, I hope, but they, they are supposed to inform us and one senior tell us if we have the best deal or not. So that is to the telecommunication contract. Let's move on to money. Money, money, money. So the minimum wage is going to be increased. So in January, it has been increased to 9 euros 82. And by June, June or July, it should be in, in, increased to 10 euros 45. And by the end of the year, the goal is to have it increased to 12 euros per hour. So that is the minimum age increments going on. And I'm happy for those who can make use of it or who is going to for those who are going to have benefits or who are going to benefit from the minimum wage increment, I'm really happy for you guys. Not only those also had spear, it's going to be increased as well. So now it's been increased by three euros. So it's no more four for a six, it's four for nine for a single um, person or single home. So that is another thing that you should look out for as well. When we go shopping, when we go shopping nowadays, before we had bottles that had the 25 since deposit of funds, we also had bottles that had the 15 cents and we had bottles that did not have any deposit on them as, as, at all. And then I went to um, Lidl grocery shopping. Lidl is the one closest to me. I go to Lidl all the time. I'll come to Lidl in a bit again, I, I guess. But Lidl, the lady at the um, teller told me that, hey, now it's 25 cents on OST. So you, usually we don't have to pay 25 cents on OST, but now we do. So this is the sign that you should look out for. This is the sign for OST, I mean for the fund. So everybody should look out for this sign on every new bottle that you buy. So it's not coming into focus. So yes, that is it. So there is deposit on everything, on every plastic and um, plastic bottle and a can. So this is another thing you should look out for when you go to town. Next one would be that there's increments. We talked about increments, but also increments on other things like fuel. So because they have increased the CO2 tax, so fossil fuels that emanates a lot of CO2 have to be taxed more. And because of that, it's going to have an effect on our fuel. So then so on our petrol and our diesel, and according to Adiate or ADAC, as some of us call them, Adiate ADAC is saying that petrol is going to be more expensive by about roughly one and a half cents per liter and diesel as well. So look out for that. Unfortunately, not only that has gotten more expensive, also little things like food. I mean, every, everything, this thing feeling that I have, because as I said, I went to Lidl last weekend, and I wanted to get a, a can of peanuts. And Lidl has these peanuts that I think in the beginning of the year 2021, they were like 20, um, 69 cents. And then they went to 79 cents and then 89 cents. And now they're 99 cents. I kid you not. Things are just getting more and more expensive. So not only that, buying fuel is going to be more expensive. And then also smoking is also going to be more expensive. So according to the new law because also because of taxes so the people who are so the, the pack the 10 20 cigarettes pack is going to be 10 cents more expensive and by the beginning of 2023 it's supposed to be even more expensive by another 10 cents if you may have probably have noticed the plastic bags the thin ones that we use for vegetables and fruits are going to be there but the bit thicker ones they are going to be taken out of the store so now it's going to be paper and you don't you can't even buy them now they are just no more available so beware of that go with your own bag so in order to save the environment I guess so go with your own bags as well so you can save yourself some stress next topic let's go to health so now the last time we did the legal changes I talked to you guys about the electronic data being sent to your health insurance um, automatically from your doctor so if you are on sick leave your doctor is going to send the information straight to your health insurance you don't have to be the one to go and tell them I'm sick this is my um, Bishayani go no your doctor does it but now it's not just that your electronic patient data 
your record is also going to be available in the hospital so when you go to the hospital um, you might have to be you, have, you might have to sign that you allow your data to be shared with specific people specific personnel so look out for that as well there's going to be more signing going on in the hospitals the year 2022 now let's get to walking around going around so in the train some of us have our uh, monthly train tickets where we pay every month and we can use the trains as we wish if not somebody who uses the train regularly beware that you cannot be buying the train tickets in the trains anymore you need the deutsche bahn app that's the db Naviga navigator or db navigator that is the app you're supposed to use to buy your ticket digitally or you go to the counter but you cannot buy it in the trains anymore so there's no more automat or ticket sale machine in the trains look out for that download the app now if you know you'll be traveling soon or you'll be using the bus the trains anytime soon get that they have actually updated a few things about it so get that as well and make sure that you get um, your ticket beforehand because if you don't as I already told you guys Schwarzfahren is not something that is um, accepted here if you don't have a ticket you are going to be fined when they control you so look out for that as well so guys you have come to the end of today's video thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you same time next Sunday next Sunday we are going to start the series with passports so the naturalization not just passports with but the naturalization process in Germany because I did one that last year this year I'm coming to you with a different angle so if you have any questions about your naturalization process why you didn't didn't work out why you were rejected and the steps that you can take stay here with me subscribe activate the notification button because this February I'm dedicating it to this particular topic so we're going to have two three videos dedicated to the naturalization process yes and also as I said I'm going to be sharing with you my Ghana vlogs I'm I am really excited about those I hope you like them as much as I enjoyed myself in Ghana so yes 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 anything else no also meine Lieben bis zum nächsten Sonntag please please take good care of yourselves and see you same time next Sunday Tschüss!